hey guys welcome to another vlog on brand on the go today we're going to do a review on the sleeping giant rainforest resort in belize i went with my family for my 27th birthday you'll see me walking up to my creekside cottage that is the cottage that we got um and that's the name if you want to book they're right along the creek so that's why they're named that as well and what i will say about the rooms it was like a nine out of ten it was huge. I was not expecting to have wow. this space, like a whole couch. And then the bathroom was decked out. Like I have the Jack and Jill sinks and then I have a glass shower and I have a garden tub. And this is all just for me. So I was feeling really special and really pampered because it was huge just for one person now. Um, they also have air conditioning for those who are worried about that. I'm about to go out on the patio and uh, again, you see I'm right beside the creek. Like it's very lovely and very calming and I, you know, rest on my hammock. If you've ever seen my videos for Panama, you know, I really like the hammock. Now we're going to my aunt and uncle's room. They had a mountain view room and this was super gorgeous like i would definitely recommend it for couples or who are doing like some type of romantic getaway like their jacuzzi tub was awesome like everything was pretty beautiful the downside of the resort was i think the restaurant so the pizza place was cool and good but they weren't open on monday and then the Grove place was also good, but the portion sizes were kind of small. And it just sucks that it only had two restaurants. And if you're there for a long time, that can kind of get redundant and like boring a little bit. So there are some restaurants off of the resort that are, you know, recommendable. If you're interested, just let me know. But overall, like the whole resort was just a very good time i would say like it's a beautiful resort there were a couple power outages while we were there it didn't really bother me because i don't like the cold anyway so i kind of was trying to turn my air conditioner out because i get really cold easily but the resort is beautiful there's canoeing on the resort there's bike riding on the resort there's horseback riding everybody was super friendly and they are building these like homes that you can buy to in the back of the resort that looks really good if you have a lot of money i would definitely recommend getting a vacation home um the pool was okay like i thought it was cool but it was kind of a small size for a big resort like i'm not gonna lie our pool growing up was kind of that size so it was a, a little it threw me off a little bit but it was still fun um i'm just showing you a little bit more of the resort like the different cottages and there's a riverside cottage there's a creekside cottage and then there's the mountain view and then of course like the houses in the back that you can rent out vacation homes for you know super rich people who can go to belize whenever they want to get on the pj or anybody who's trying to i guess get an investment home and eventually one day own a home in belize so i say that this resort is a 8 out of 10. It's very affordable. It's a good time. The food is good when you eat it. It just did not have a lot of restaurants and a lot of options, which is disappointing. But if you're very in tune with nature and want to be, you know, in the rainforest, and you can't lack it for it to go to Bali or the Maldives or something like that. This is the place for you. Check out Sleeping Giant Rainforest.